The train game is hard. And I don't just mean hard, I mean unbelievably hard. Juju Charles has a nightmare mode, which basically means Charles is more aggressive and has more health, enemies deal way more damage, and you only have one life. If you die, it's back to the main menu. Now see, I had watched Astral Spiff's video over Nightmare Mode, and it looked relatively easy. So I said, what the heck, it can't be that bad. What I failed to realize, however, was that Spig had been practicing this game over and over and over again before his attempt at Nightmare Mode. Me? I bought the game and immediately dived in head first. That was a big mistake. After 17 hours and 5 streams, I hadn't even made it to the final boss fight. I couldn't do it anymore, so I did one final stream. One final stream to either beat Charles once and for all, or curl up into a ball and cry myself to sleep. I'll be sprinkling in some of the funniest and worst deaths from the previous streams throughout the video so you can see the BS I had to go through. Anyway, enjoy watching Charles run a train on me. Why is the title named Final Attempt? Because I'm not doing this anymore. This is at least the sixth stream that I have tried to beat Nightmare Charles, and I can't take it anymore. He has made me lose so much sleep, I just, I, I need to either get it done now, or just never do it again. So this is going to be multiple attempts, one final stream, right? Yes, TPX. Multiple attempts, one final stream, to end it all. Oh boy, let's do this. What's the story of this game? So the story is, this Giga Spider came out of nowhere on this island and inhabited a empty train shell. And it started killing people on the island, and then you got called in to kill Charles because no people don't want to die anymore. That's that's essentially what happened. Or what is happening, my bad. Present tense. Currently dying. Not everybody's dead already. Alright buddy, hopefully this is the last time you have to die. I really don't want to hear your voice lines again. Ever. Oh, I lit him up, but I guess I didn't do it too well. Alright, we're on our way. I'm taking these off for now, dude. They're hurting my <sighs> hurting my eyes badly. I'm pretty sure we have 12 minutes on that timer f until Charles comes back. So I just need to do everything as fast as human. I thought somebody knocked on my door. As fast as humanly possible. All right. So the goal is 150 scrap to go to the final boss fight with Charles, and we should get to the final boss fight when that timer in the bottom right says two and a half hours because we died like on the last mission before the boss fight and it was like two hours and 15 minutes oh, boy, fuck no <laughs> no so it should only take two and a half hours Look, one of Warren's, got one of Warren's. I here, take him. On this first run, though, I'm gonna be a lot more risky and just try and get through it really quickly. But if I die on the second run, I'm gonna be a lot more careful. Calling me father is off limits. Yeah, of course it is. So how about... No. <laughs> Y'all gotta understand, I'm still 17. This isn't allowed legally. <laughs> hey, thank you, Bagel Man. Thank you for giving me your soul. I'll use it wisely. I'll throw your soul into this witch's cauldron right here. No, don't open Bixby, the fuck? I don't understand, my phone just decided to open Bixby. Who in their right mind uses that godforsaken assistant? What the hell is Bixby? Bixby spelled B-I-X-B-Y, Bixby. It's like Google Assistant or Siri, but for Samsung. There's like a whole damn button on the phone for Bixby, and it sucks. Because there's not a soul in this planet who uses that thing. What a hero have it. Mm. Get out of my face. Alright, this time, don't skip by the fireplace over there. I'm a nearly sergeant. Sar if you're a sergeant, assuming like, either fire chief or army or something, wouldn't you be smart enough to know that there's a water tower up there with a valve that you can just walk up the steps to go turn off, buddy? Instead of having to employ me to do it, and then, you know, me taking all of your scraps. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'll rob you of your scraps any day of the week, because I need them, but... Still, you could use your brain a little bit. 
I've still not fully woken up yet, so I think when I die by Charles on this run, I think uh, I think that'll get me up and going. Charles is gonna be here soon, so I gotta, I gotta start looking out for him. Oh shit, Charles has arrived. I heard the whistle. All right, buddy, don't mind me just following extremely closely behind you, breathing down your neck. Thank you, TPX. I really don't remember why I made that. All I remember is that I hated that channel, Lanky Box, so much that I was like, I have to make a whole video on it. And like, I, I responded to some of the comments who were like criticizing me because like, oh, you made fun of Scoobooty Toilet. And I'm like, you understand, I like 90% of the video was me dogging on Lanky Box, and I blatantly admitted that the whole reason why I added Skibbity Toilet into the video was because I just wanted the word Skibbity in the title, so that way it would get a little bit more clicks. I was honest about that, completely honest, and I got no shame in doing that, because I just wanted to make fun of Lanky Box. Alright, we're probably gonna have to fight Charles right- Yep, we're gonna have to fight Charles. I don't know where that whistle came from, but we're gonna have to fight him. That sounded extremely close. I would appreciate it if you stayed the hell away. And somehow Charles listened and he stayed the hell away. What a, what a, what a king, you know? One time I actually asked Kill... Never mind, I was gonna say something else, but now he's here. Okay, he can't get me if I'm standing right here, right? This is like the one spot right here. Did you just fucking... Why would you go all the way over there just to damage my train? Jackass, man. There was literally no point in you doing that. All right, Charles went away. I gotta go down to the dock. All right, buddy, nice suitcase. Give me the quest so I can go look through your personal thoughts. I was gonna say belongings, but there's no belongings in the journal. Please don't show up, Charles. I would be screwed. How are you all the way over there? I'm not gonna complain, but I'm a little confused. Okay, so we need to go, we need to fight Charles. Where you at, buddy? Goes Yep, knew it. Are you serious? No. You're shitting me. I completely forgot that he had damaged the train. Oh, completely forgot. God damn it. Welp. Round two, I guess. Okay, are we back to where we were? I genuinely do not know. No, right, because we were going along here and we, our train health sucked and we died. Okay, let's just see if we can make it to this mission, lest we have to fight Charles. Wow, somehow I made it to this house. That is a m miracle. But Charles is coming. Yep, <laughs> hi buddy. Called it. Hi Charles, can you please leave me be? Are you stuck in an infinite loop again? You thought I had two cats? No, I got three. Merle, Persian, 11 years old. Maggie, Persian, three years old. Millie, Maine Coon, one year old. You've just never seen Merle. Merle does not come in this room. Merle is stuck to the living room when he gets fed and then his room. And he just only goes between those two places. What's my favorite color? Purple. I'd take purple over any color any day of the week. I don't know. Everybody's favorite color seems to be like black, red, or blue. I've never really met anybody who said their favorite color is like yellow, because yellow sucks. All right, time to do the ghost mission with Charles on my ass. This should be fun, because if I get caught lacking in here, it's immediate game over. I'm like 90% certain Charles can't come like at you whenever you're in the maze. But 10% of me says he can because I'm pretty sure he did one time and it's uh, it, it, it sucked when that happened. Okay, <laughs> need three more and I know where they're at. Charles. We might be screwed because Charles was like right up there and we have to go this way to get back to the house. Please tell me he did the shark circle and is on the opposite side now. I saw his light. Doing a mad dash right now. Okay. Now I gotta wait for Charles. Because there's no shot I'm gonna be able to go on the train. If we can make it back to Santiago and flip this train track and get over here, we can loop around and fight Charles. Which... Charles... I don't know where you're at, buddy. 
but coming at me when I'm going backwards is very, very bad for me. I'm not, I'm not a man who likes to get hit from the back. I like to get hit from the front. Oh God, Charles is gonna hit me from the front. He is coming, he is coming, and he is coming hard. Okay, made it. Whew. Charles is just a little excited. He's a lot more than a little excited. If you're wondering why I'm flicking my head a lot, it's because I mess with my hair way too much, and I have to get it perfect, and there's no such thing as perfect, so I always mess with it, and I, like, flick my head like this. Charles, I need you to go, buddy. Look, I know you're probably... He went. I was gonna go on a whole spiel about how he loves me too much and doesn't want this to end. But I don't love you, Charles. I hate you. I hate you with a burning passion, and I wish I never, ever bought this game or ever decided to do the nightmare challenge i will send you back to hell where you belong don't worry you can trust me on that did you seriously just what a dick man what a dick why you literally had no reason to go over and attack my train i put it all the way over there for a reason buddy i went way too far come on change the track change the track Go! Holy crap, I don't know how that worked. Charles, buddy, I'm going really far away from where I need to be. I need you to go away soon. Especially before I get off of this train. I got off of the train track. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to do a full loop around. That's wonderful. Charles, this is taking obscenely long. Like, you normally do not last this long. Thank you. Holy crap. Glad that's over with, but now I gotta do a whole loop. Which, I mean, I had to do anyways, but still. Does it take longer to fight off Charles in Nightmare Mode? Oh, 110%. In Nightmare Mode, I'm pretty sure Charles has more health and more damage uh, versus his normal mode counterpart. You must be happy, no. I am almost at 10k, Liam. I'm really happy about it. I genuinely thought this day would never come. At least not this soon. I'm really thankful that I'm on track at least hopefully to get to 10k before the end of this year because when i posted that you have one year video one of the goals i don't remember if i mentioned it in the video but one of the things i had in mind was getting to 10k hi pickle lady yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and if i didn't get to 10k then this would basically be a lost cause because i wouldn't have enough time after I turned 18, because I turned 18 on Christmas Eve, which is basically the, in the end of the year. But if I hadn't reached 10k or gotten monetized and made a little bit of money off of YouTube by that point, this was a lost cause because I wouldn't be able to maybe do this full time after high school. Because if I'm not able to do this full time after high school, I have two options. Well, technically three. Option one, which is the easy way out going to the air force there's that that's the easy way out and there would be no video uploads whatever none of that option two is go to law school which if i do that i could technically still have a little bit more time to do youtube what my plan would be use my tennessee promise aka you know you get te the first two years of college are free if you go to a community college they'll pay for it. So what I would do is I would get all the basic like math, English classes out of the way, nothing that has to do with law. And then I would transfer, if YouTube still hadn't worked out at, at that point, I would transfer to a law school, a really good one. And I would get my law degree and then maybe one day come back to YouTube. And then the hypothetical option three is electrical engineering or be an electrician. I really don't want to be an electrician. I used to be because they make good money and you only have to do two years of school. But yeah, hi pickle lady, I understand. But I'm already a blue collar, not a blue collar. Am I blue collar? I work in a factory. I do physical labor. I work on industrial machine. I guess it's blue collar, but I, I, I would rather not do that for the rest of my life. What's my favorite option? Uh, none of the ones I listed. I, my favorite option is this full time. But if I'm unable to and I have to pick between the two or three that I mentioned, then law. Because it at least gives me a chance to maybe get more time on YouTube. But if I knew this was a lost cause and I would never make it no matter what I did, then I would go into the Air Force. Well, my vibes are very fine. Alright, I really gotta focus here because Charles is... Okay. 
I wanted Charles to come after me, so that way I could uh, get him out of here. Also, that dude hasn't seen me either, so that's good. I remember last time, or one of the runs, we had a problem with the dude seeing me, and I had to run that way, and Charles ate my ass. No! How did the... Charles, you gonna go, buddy? Or are you just gonna remain on top of me? I almost don't even really want to go for the scrap. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 I know you're shooting at me. Fuck off. Okay, get out of here before Charles sees me. Oh, wait, no, this is a repeat of exactly what happened last time. The dude was chasing me and Charles was out here in the field. Alright, I should have a ton of scrap now. That's I don't know how much, I just know I should have a lot. 79. Where's Charles at? I'm gonna have to fight him regardless, so... Oh yeah, we got purple paint, good. I'm doing a whole nother loop around because I want to fight him before moving on to this rocket area. Come on, Charles. I know you want me. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Let's do this. Alright. Good, 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 good. Upgrade speed and change the railroad car. This was literally perfect. This was perfect timing. Now we can go to the rocket launcher area and hopefully, if we are extremely lucky, I might be even be able to do the I need to do the rocket launcher mission first. If Charles is gone now, I have to immediately go do that rocket launcher mission because that thing has given me so much hell in the past and I'm not doing that again. No. No. Are you sh <laughs> All right, as soon as I get the scrap in here, I'm immediately booking it to go do the rocket launcher mission. What's my favorite game of all time? Either Terraria or the original Destiny game. One of those two. They're the games I have the most play hours in, probably. Alright, I can come back and get the scrap in a minute, but I need to go do the rocket launcher mission. And do it fast. Alright. Okay, place the dynamite on there. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. My life will be so much easier if we can do this without, you know, Charles being on our ass. Alright, I got the rockets. Please, for the love of God, I do not want to hear that train whistle. Like, I know he's not here, but my adrenaline is rising because I have, like, some sort of PTSD from this. I'm shell-shocked from Charles killing me so many times here. Holy shit, we made it back. Oh my god. Like, if you've not watched the streams or don't know about the pain and suffering we've gone through in, in the past, then you don't understand how monumental that is that we just got the rocket launcher mission done without Charles coming after us. Do you demand brain rot? No. Here's my philosophy with creating videos, right? I have to make a video that I want to watch and can re-watch. If I make a video that I don't even want to watch, what's the point in me making that video? I was bad about that for a while, making content that I didn't like, namely the video analysis stuff. The only, I will admit, the only reason I started making a lot of those was because the My Eye Deceived one popped off. And I didn't like making them because I had to do it really fast paced to keep on trend. So that way I would grow my channel, but I messed up and that wasn't the right way to go about it. And I went back into another dark age, which rightfully deserved. I got what I deserved. And I learned from it and I've grown. Anyway, Lighthouse Mission. Speaking of brain rot, sadly your niece found YouTube shorts and it's getting to her. Oh no. Charmer, you gotta help her. You gotta get her help soon before it's too late and you're gonna have to pull an old yeller on her. Who wants to bet money right now that in the future, whether it be soon or later, that brain rot will become like an actual medical thing that's wrong with people? <laughs> okay, got that done. Lighthouse mission over with. Okay, Charles, I don't see you on the map anywhere, because I'd like to know where you're at before I make this 200 meter dash back to the houses. Alright, Charles isn't here. I don't know where he's at. Also, we're fully upgraded already, wow. I really need to fight Charles again before I go to the mines, and I almost want to wait a little bit, because I need- actually, I need to swap this train- okay, I'm gonna swap this train track right there, back up, wait for Charles, then fight him again. Charles is here. Okay, this was perfect. So back up. See, Charles is over there, but I do not have enough track to fight him on. Anyway, while we're waiting on Charles, I actually have a very unique story to tell. 
So this happened Saturday, right? It was two days ago at this point. And me and two of my buddies, we were at the park because, you know, uh, one of them came back from college and we were just hanging out for the weekend. And she came back and we were at the park and we were playing volleyball. And we see this guy uh, walking around with a hammock. And, you know, it's a park. I, I, he's looking for a place to set up his hammock in between the trees. It took him a while to get set up, but we didn't think much of it. All right, we're going to wait here now for Charles because this is a good spot to see where he's at. But we were playing volleyball, and then I took out my knife from my pocket, and I saw that it had fiber on it from uh, work. And I was like, hey, let's go to the stream over there real quick so I can uh, wash it off. So we go to the stream real quick and wash it off. And on our walk back, my shoes were off, by the way. I was barefoot because I had, you know, we had taken a quick dip. And we were walking back, and we, all of a sudden, we hear, like, somebody calling for help. And we hear it the first time, and we look at each other like, huh? We hear it a second time, we're like, is someone calling for help? And then I look over in front of us to the left, and, like, 200 feet away, the dude who had the hammock, he had gotten set up, and he had fallen out of the hammock. I was like, shit. And I gave my uh, shoes and socks that were in my hand, I gave them to one of my friends, and I, w I sprinted over to go check on the guy, because, like, he sounded hurt. So I went over to check on him, and it turns out that he had rolled over, and his hammock had snapped. He fell on the ground and hit, like, he landed on his tailbone, like his hip bone. Oh, Charles is here. Uh, I don't like the fact that you're directly on the track. Here's the thing, though. I went over to check on him, and I asked him if he was all right. He was hurt. He was crying. He was 14. He was a special needs kid who had walked from his house about two miles away to the park by himself. His mother was in Murfreesboro. He walked to the park by himself and set up the hammock and nobody was around. None of his family was anywhere near. And so this kid, I'm not gonna use his real name. Uh, we're gonna call him Tyler. Tyler, uh, I talked to him and I inspected him to make sure he wasn't bleeding or had any broken bones. And he didn't, but because we couldn't find his phone, he was sitting on it, we would later find. He was sitting on his phone, so we didn't have his mom's number. We, I, I didn't know what to do, so I told one of my friends, call 911, so that way they could get an ambulance over and check on him, because he's special needs, I, I don't know what's, what's going on. So we call an ambulance over, and I'm just sitting there talking to him the whole time. Hey buddy, it's gonna be alright, what's your name? How old are you? But the ambulance has arrived, they check on him, and they wanted to take him, because... Uh, his mother was in Murfreesboro, she couldn't come get him, and there was nothing else they could do because nobody else could take him. But, they finally got a hold of his mother. Oh, shit, okay, we're here. Uh, I gotta go back and get that box. But anyway, long story short, uh, his mother released him to the police, and the police, uh, took him back to his house, and that's all I know about it. I shook his hand, I said, hey buddy, it was nice to meet you, I hope you get better soon, and then he went on his way. <laughs> that was my experience at the park after not having gone to the park in ages. He was a really sweet kid as well. He was really nice. He was just confused about what was going on. I'm glad I was there. I'm glad at least I was there because there was literally nobody else around that could have helped him because there was nobody. So I, I really hope he's doing better. I hope he's having a good day too. Shit, I did forgot that there's people here. By the way, gonna go ahead and say this. I told you he was 14 years old, right? He is 6'4". This 14-year-old is a giant. He is 6'4". He's huge. When I first went over, I thought he was like 20. He looked 20. No, he's 14, 6'4", and looks like he could be play f as a lineman in the NFL. All right, enough about that story. Pretty sure there's a dude. Are you coming this way? What's going on? Shit, I did not know you had actually seen me. <gasps> no! No! I went the wrong way. Please, for the love of God, for the love of God, for the love of God. I will fight Charles again, I don't give a shit. I will do a whole nother loop around this map. I'll do three loops. Do not kill me. Dear God, I thought that dude was supposed to be standing still and not moving. I thought he was supposed to be guarding an entrance. I didn't know he moved. And, oh my God, I completely did not mean to go that way. 
I'm shocked I lived. He did two shots, and thankfully the second one was up, and he missed. What's in here? Scrap? Blue paint? I'm not- I'm not trying to get all the paint. Come on. I know there's one more guy over here. This room right here, this pillar where my mouse is, he's in that room to the left. That room is scrap. I don't need to go in there. I'm not fighting him. I need to lower that bridge and get the hell out of here on the right. Okay, good. That was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Now, I could come back. Well, depends. Where's Charles going to be at? Yeah, because this is a dangerous stretch right here. Nope, he's already there. Okay, never mind. You better run. Fuck off. No one's gonna hear you screaming out here. No one's gonna hear your screams as I roast you alive with my train flamethrower. You're running. No, 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 no. Get your ass back here. No. Uh. What the fuck? He's moonwalking. Shit. No, come on. Good. Let's go see what you were guarding down here. Alright, buddy. Better be a lot of scrap in here. What? Are you... Okay, good. I don't know why the scrap literally despawned. But okay. Uh, train. I want you on the deck. Not the deck, the bridge. No, you're still off the bridge. Yep, he's here. I hear that whistle. And he sees me. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> I do not need Charles killing me right now. Is it scary? Nah. It's not scary if you've played it more than once. On your first playthrough, it might be. Let me talk to you. Stop cowering in fear or I'll give you something to fear. Charles? Get away from my train. Get away- Get away from my train. Good. Unfortunately, unfortunately though, we're most likely gonna have to fight Charles before we can do anything else at this point. We have to fight him one more time regardless. We have to fight him once. Okay, how much scrap we got? 65? That's actually pretty bad. That part about your username is someone else way more popular shows up when you search it? You mean me? I I doubt that. If I were to type that in real quick, uh, pretty sure I would appear. Yeah, I, I'm top result. <laughs> what if you put a space in it? Is that what you mean? Ah, shit, you're right. <laughs> Who the hell is L Splash? Oh, it's the doors person. That makes sense. You know what, L Splash? Uh, I got nothing personal against you. You're not my arch nemesis, so uh, screw you. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's probably a good person though. Right, okay. Charles, where are you at, buddy? I seriously am terrified right now. I only have to go right here to get scrap, but it's also like a hop, hop, hop on foot. And then I have to, oh right, I have to go here as well. So I need to fight him one more time here and maybe, fuck, maybe even another time. Three, two, one, hop out. Okay, much scrap as possible. Oh, the barbed wire. I was about to say, what the hell hit me? Oh, there's a box right there. That's most certainly not a trap set by Charles. Get the scrap. Go. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how I said it was a trap and then I fell for it. Alright, Charles, I'm not about to do the whole thing where you sit here for 10 minutes. I want you to go away now. The question is raised again, now that we're at this juncture. Do I want to do Bob's mission? Because last time when I was at this point, I said no. I didn't want to do Bob's mission. But I didn't know the train track was flipped this way towards the mission. And I aggroed like 100 uh, hostiles. So I had to do it anyway. And it had like six or seven scrap. But if I'm good on scrap, if I'm at like 120 before I even get to this point, I ain't doing the Bob mission. All right, Charles, buddy, listen, I know you don't want this to end. I know you don't want me to beat you. I know you want me to stay here forever and be with you forever. But it's got to end today, Charles. It's got to end one way or another. If you have the best intentions at heart, you got to let me win, buddy. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. He, it, you, it has to be done. Can't I tell Charles is hurting? Charles, buddy. Are you hurting? Let me know, Charles. Are you hurting? No. Don't go away. Don't hide your feelings from me. Come back, Charles. Charles just wants a hug? Well, Charles can get a hug anytime he wants. But the moment he hits my train, I ain't hugging him. I'm murdering him. What is Charles's weakness? Fire? It's fire, 
bullets, explosives, heavy bullets. Fire is just the thing we use in nightmare mode to slow them down because that's the only thing you can do. You can only slow him down and nothing else. If you try and use any of the other guns, he'll just come up immediately and murder you. Okay. I'm gonna try and back up as far as I can until Charles sees me. Have I ever been in a band? No. But if I was gonna be in a band and I had to pick an instrument to play, it would be an electric guitar. Electric guitars, man, dude, they're so amazing. If you know what song that rift is from, you're goaded. Alright, this should be far enough. But I do need to go ahead and get a running. He's gonna hit me regardless. I don't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, I knew he was gonna hit me. That was just that was a given. Come on, Charles. We're almost at that railroad cro we made it to that railroad crossing shit. Charles, buddy, I need you to go away now. We're way past the point where we needed to be. Alright, go back to hell up. What happens when the train's health bar depletes? When the train's health bar depletes, you start taking damage. Even if you're on the train, you start taking damage. Also, lower the train health, the slower the train move. Alright, get us all the scrap from here that I could possibly need. And then get the heck out of here. You sound like a uh, child liker person. I don't like you very much, sir. I gotta focus here real quick because I gotta pay attention to stuff. It's time for the last chew, Charles. Yep, share the bounce. I don't know what you said, but that's what I heard. Share the bounce. Hopefully by this point I have 100 scrap. If I don't, we might actually be done. Oh, we got 113. We're good. Okay. Uh, right now, I need to go here. Next place. And then I gotta go on that track. I gotta swip, swap the track. Unfortunately, we fought Charles at a time that was bad. Because we needed to fight Charles and then immediately go to the final... Or last, second to final mission. But unfortunately, we didn't. Should have plenty of scrap after this. Because it's almost like I need to fight Charles again before I go to that second to final mission. Like, I got plenty of scrap, and I'm willing to take the hits. I'm not willing to die. Does it- Okay, when did I kill Charles? On, on the timer in the bottom right, what time did that say when I killed Charles? If that says anything more than 10 minutes ago, I'm not doing it. We killed Charles at roughly, basically 49 exactly. So if we killed him at 49 exactly, uh, we've been paused for about a minute. So it's about 55. That's five minutes. Screw it. If we can skip by Bob's mission, then we'll be fine. Depending on how much scrap we got. 137? Oh, we're skipping Bob's mission. The moment I see that track, I need to go. Actually, I might want to stop a little bit before the track to kill the people. Okay, it's right here. Okay, swap the train track. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm not, I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why the hell I just tried doing the mission. Well, now I kind of have to do it because I just lost two scrap. Now that I'm thinking about it, really, it might be better to do this mission and then loop around the top left side of the map from here. Charles has arrived. Well, can't really go anywhere now. Okay, there's a guy up here. Yeah, 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 I know. All right, got the key. Go get Bob. Get back on the train. And we'll be good. Well, no, we have to fight Charles again. I'm not doing that final mission until we fight Charles. I don't care if we go right, left, forward, back. I could give two shits. I didn't even get Bob. I just about ran out of there. I need to swap this track. It's automatically going left. Good. Here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. Hopefully get behind this mountain. Shit! Come on, Charles. What are you doing, buddy? So now we're going to loop back around because there's no shot we're killing him before the train track swaps again. We'll loop back around the whole island, come back here, do the mission, and then I guess go to the final mission. There was a box right there I just passed. Charles, if you go away now, I can get that box.
Go get the box. Please be worth it. Okay, that's hella worth it. Okay. So now I need to try some this case, though. Light the flame on the ground. Okay, wait, no, that didn't do that right. That's so weird, though. You have to press escape to get out of the thing. Right? Okay, maybe there's another button I'm missing. Exit slash back. I would personally like that to not be the case. If I can change you to R. Well, is R set to anything? No, we're good. That's actually perfect then. So then, boom. Yep, that's perfect. But I have to press R again. I got to get used to that. This, R, E, hit it, da 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 da, R, this again. All right, I'm just practicing. Just practicing for that final boss fight because that's what I'm going to have to do. Because it takes too much time to get up from here, walk in here, heal, go back, and then start shooting. It's a lot quicker if I just this, R, E, boom, ba ba boom, R, back, boom, like that. All right, so we're back here. Gonna go in the mine. And then this will be it. This will be maybe the final run. Just gotta remember, there are minimum two people inside of this mine. So, what does that mean? Go in here and lure out one, or if you can lure out both. I don't think you can lure out both, but if you can lure out both at the same time, that saves time. But be cautious. Because I'm willing to fight Charles again before the final boss fight. <sighs> Here we go. I have no doubt there's no way I'm dodging this first guy. Because he is right there. Okay. And he's going to loop back around. If I'm, I'm going to try and dodge him at first. But if there's even a slight chance he's going to see me, I'm not risking it. Okay. He's coming back. I don't know how. I just evaded him, but that was cool as shit. Okay, there's one more guy in here. Which way are you going, buddy? Go right or No! Fuck. No! No! Holy shit. That, I almost had an exact repeat of what happened last time. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, oh my god. I, I just, not even at the final boss fight yet and I'm losing my marbles. Oh, we gotta go deeper into the mine, shit. If you, there's people in this fucking mine, oh no. Okay, there is a dude in here. And I'm absolutely terrified because I don't know where he's at. I do not know where he would be at. At this point, screw, screw Charles if he comes back. There's no way to go back up. There's no way to go back up. No. Okay, I thought you were coming this way, dude. So you went right. I will sit here and learn your damn pattern if I have to. I need you to go down that right pathway and then I'm going to book it to that. Charles has arrived. Go down that pathway and then I'm going to book it around. Because there's no way for me to kill you now. I'm stuck down here. No, 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 no. Charles is right above me. I don't even know if I want to go up right now. Red paint? Are you shitting me? Okay, pause for a moment. Pause for the love of God. I have to, I have to think real quick. I have to think. Charles is right above us. I am 100% certain we are nowhere near the train. I don't even know where we're at. Holy shit. The nearest building- This? Where is the nearest- Other than that right there, the nearest building is Bob's camp. Here's the game plan. If Charles is right above us, go in that camp. There are people right above us. That means I can't stay here. I have to go to the train. I did not do all of this shit just to have to die on a run back to the train because it forced me to because there's people up there. Maybe the glasses will help me, but what's your pattern up here? I need to know that at least. Because if I can come up, I want them going away from me when I come up. So that way I can make a straight shot towards Bob's camp. You're shitting me. It was this cycle, but Charles is here. Out of body stalking? Yeah, truly. Where's my train? 300 meters away.
This is a lot slower than I thought. Get out! Okay, make it to Bob's area. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going for the train. I'm going for the train. Please, please, please. Get on the train. Get on the train. Get on the train. Get on the fucking train. Go. Whatever just happened, I just did the... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What paint cans am I missing? I have yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, lime, gray, black. I'm missing white and one more. Color percent? Here's the thing. If I'm two paint cans away from getting 100%, let me just look them up. Probably not going to go for them, but let's just look up. All right, here we go. Every paint can. So we're missing magenta and turquoise or light blue. Wait, what the fuck? Do we have white? No, we don't. Wait, what are we missing? I guess that is white over there. But yeah, we're missing light blue and pink. That's what we're missing. I know, but why not go for it? Okay, where is pink? The pink is found in the north section of the map. To reach it, the player must ascend the watchtower northeast of the... T I don't want to do that. That's bullshit. What am I missing, though? Cyan? Do you see where that is? That's bullshit. Yeah, we're not... No, we're not... No, 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 no. No, no. I don't give a shit. I can have nightmares about not 100% in the game. I would rather have that than have nightmares about dying at this point. What's left now? Getting scrap? Dude, we have 163 scrap. There is no more preparation I could do. We have, I think, 30 or 40 more scrap than Spith had. But there is one thing left to do. Fight Charles one more time, maybe. And then the final mission. We could... Oh, this is a much quicker way to the finish it mission. Okay. No, that's what we're going to do then. Okay, we're going to back up really, really far. We're going to fight Charles. We're going to go down that pathway. And we're going to do this. Oh, look, we're back at the, the rocket mission. Oh, so many good memories here. How far away are we from that railroad crossing? 720, that's not nearly far enough. I'm just, I'm just curious real quick. Where was the pink can? Pink is right here. I know what we're doing then. I'm not, I'm not going for it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking to see where it's at. He's coming directly at us. I don't need to take that hit. I need to back up. Come on, Charles. I have to get back really far because I know my train goes really fast. We're at the damn fire dude's house. We were way too far back. I'm going to try and do the tune of J... I was going to say I was going to try and do the tune of Jingle Bells until Charles got here, but never mind. He's here. Okay, hit me once. That's fine. I kind of needed that to slow me down. There's no shot we're making that shortcut. He's not taking nearly enough headshots. Charles, you are... I can go for that. I can go for the thing still. That's still going to be infinitely faster than going around the entire island. I have a confession to make. We're going for the last two paint cans. I know I said I wasn't going to risk it, but at this point, what's? Well, there's no reason not to. There's nothing stopping me. Charles is out of the way, and I can get the pink one relatively easily. It's literally just over here. As long as I don't have to fight NPCs, it's all right. If I have to fight NPCs at this watchtower, I'm turning around, canning it, and then we're not doing it. And see, there's scrap here as well, so... Listen, I, I don't know what had gotten into me, but for some reason, I got cocky, and I wanted to 100% nightmare mode. I had already done every mission and maxed out my train, so the only thing left was to grab the remaining paint cans. Once I had them, all I had to do was take on Charles. Get the can. Go, 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 go. Okay. Now we have to make it all the way to the top right before Charles gets me. Scratch that, make it to the top left, and then make it back. That's about a 600 meter dash both ways. Also, we are way past the two and a half hour mark because I'm going for these paint cans. Holy crap, that's such a far distance. So we gotta go all the way to that house. But I literally see no point in just not doing it, okay? We're almost here. When we get to this point, we gotta run and book it. Now, that's a 300 meter dash, holy crap. I swear, I think I'm hallucinating because I thought I just heard that whistle. No! I, c I can't. 
I, I can't. I have to go back to the train. I have to go back to the fucking train. I did not know there was a freaking temple right there. Well, you're gonna die, and I just wasted a fucking minute. No. Come on. You're dying. I'm not... You're gonna die. No, you piece of shit. Come here. That's right. Come on. No. What the fuck? Okay, good. You're dead. I have to listen extremely closely for Charles's whistle. I'm not going to that damn outpost right there. I just need to go to that... Go to the paint can. Get it. And immediately go back before Charles comes. Oh, the paint can's not in here. It was on the dock. Oh, so I would have been screwed if I had gone for the paint can. Okay. I have all 11 cans. Now I have to go back. I do not want to hear that whistle. Please, I do not want to hear that whistle. <sighs> We're safe. Holy shit. How much scrap do I got? 185. We're missing the white paint can. I don't know why I thought I had the white paint can. I literally said it. Please tell me the white one is like 100 meters away from me. In the center of the map. Oh my god. Have I done all the missions? Yep. I've done all of the missions. Except the final one. And I don't have the white paint can. And the white paint can is in this house. Now I do have to fight Charles one more time. I'm pretty sure. So kind of makes sense that I just go ahead and go back. Why not? God, my back is hurting. Probably from literally having hunchback this whole time. Oh. Charles, are we fighting you now? What's going on? I would probably prefer to fight you now. Oh, thank you for listening to my request. All right, let's get this over with, buddy. All right, Charles, we're literally about at the place where... Yep, I just passed it. Charles. Yes. Go back up. Go. 187 scrap, man. Okay. Turn this. My plan is go here, run to the final area. Because we, look, it's like right there. I can stop my train right here. I won't be as close as I want, but I will be right there. Okay. Hey, buddy, is the paint can here? Right there. There it is. Dripped out. Collect all 11 paint cans. Okay. Holy crap. We have actually made it to the final part of the game. After roughly 20 hours of playing Nightmare Mode, I finally get my first, and actually, I might say last shot at, uh... Charles. And it's gonna be a 100% run as well. Holy shit. This was it. The final boss fight. 20 hours of failing had led up to this moment. This was my first attempt at Nightmare Charles, and in my head, I knew that if I didn't beat him here, I would never beat him. I had one shot, and I had to make it count. But, I had one little surprise to announce before I took on Hell Charles. I'd also like to make a confession real quick. I've never beaten this game ever. I've never beaten it on normal mode. I've never even played normal mode. When I bought this game and I streamed it, I did it hardcore mode. And this is the very first time I'm getting to the final boss fight. But this is it. There's no more prep. This is it. All right. For those of you who have been here with me from the beginning, thank you. Really appreciate it. Let's go get some headshots. I'm going to put on Bob at first just to scope out the area. Put on the flamethrower. Step away from the shrine, stranger. You don't know what you're doing. No, you do the song! I'm not gonna talk any, I have to focus.
eyes are getting dry. Come on, please. I'm so overwhelmed I can't even shout. Three hours and one minutes. Oh my god, dude, my I can feel my heart pounding out of my chest right now. I've lost my voice and I've not even shouted any. That's it. I'm finally done with this horrendous game. Screw you, TPX. Screw you. <laughs> Words cannot describe the euphoria I was feeling at the moment. Seriously, that's why I didn't say anything. 100%ing Nightmare Charles has been by far the hardest challenge I've ever done, but it was finally over. I'm probably never returning to this game, by the way. Unless the developer adds another difficulty, I ain't touching Charles. He's touched me enough for multiple lifetimes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe before you head out, and I'll catch you on the flip side.